Good morning and good night in, or good evening in Japan. I'm Peter Gelb, uh, General Manager of the Metropolitan Opera, and I uh, want to welcome uh, the viewers of uh, this live stream. Um, with me in my office are uh, the leaders of the Metropolitan Opera Board, and Ziff, the chairman, and Judith Corrente, the president of the Metropolitan Opera Board, uh, leaders of the orchestra, uh, Jessica Phillips, who is uh, the chairman of the orchestra committee and wonderful clarinetist in the orchestra, and David Chan, our brilliant concertmaster. Uh, in Japan, where it's 13 hours later, uh, Unique Nizes Sagan has just completed a, uh, a concert uh, with Philadelphia Orchestra where he's on tour. Uh, a, a tour of Asia, and we're thrilled to be able to be making the announcement today, this morning in New York, uh, that Unique is becoming the new music director of the Metropolitan Opera, an historic position uh, that is very meaningful for all of the Metropolitan Opera fans, for, for the uh, music lovers of New York, for the music lovers of the nation, and music lovers of the world, since the Met is a, a, a truly global company. So we're we're thrilled, uh, Unique, that uh, you have agreed to become our music director, uh, and it would be great to hear from you uh, your comments about this, about your appointments. Well, good morning, Peter. Good morning, everyone in the room. Good morning, all the viewers and the members of the company of the Met and all the Met lovers, the listeners, the viewers, the people in our halls and also on the Live in HD. Um, I can't recall a day in my life where I've been more uh, joyful, uh, more honored, humbled also, uh, for me to be in the footsteps of the giant James Levine, who has always been my hero and my inspiration, is something which, you know, is really a dream come true. Um, I dare say a childhood's dream, but even more than this, I, I think in the past seven years, I've been able to uh, nurture and develop a connection with the greatest opera orchestra in the world, the Met Orchestra, and this greatest of houses with all the people working, the music staff, the chorus, the unbelievable chorus, and also, of course, the best principal singers uh, on the planet. And to see this connection develop and come to fruition by becoming the next care uh, the next caretaker of uh, the music in this house is just a dream come true and um, I'm eager uh, of course to get started uh, of course the position is starting a little later officially in four years but I will be music director designate from next season and also will start immediately uh, my job as music director. So uh, I'm looking forward to a start as of now to uh, be able to uh, put all my passion into my mission of keeping the highest standards in our world of opera with this house and also to make people realize how opera is important in their lives and i'm very optimistic about this so i just want to thank the board to thank everyone to thank the orchestra and the chorus for the trust you are giving me at this moment well unique we're thrilled obviously that you are you're joining us and uh i know you can't conduct the met from japan but uh we're looking <laughs> we're, we're looking forward to your to your being with us. I know you're planning to come to visit the company in the fall. You're conducting Flying Dutchman this, this coming season, uh, which is a little bit later in the season, but I know that in the, early in the fall, you're going to make time to come and meet the orchestra and the chorus and, and the board and the whole company. And, uh, you know, uh, we couldn't be happier about this appointment, obviously. Now, I'd like to uh, introduce my guests here today. Um, in a way, I'm a guest of the, of the board, uh, as, as since they since they are in charge of this wonderful institution. Uh, and uh, I know Judith uh, Corrente, uh, the president, uh, and Anne Ziff have something to say to you. Unique, on behalf of your friend Anne Ziff and my fellow members of the board of directors of the Metropolitan Opera Association, I just want to tell you how thrilled we are that you will be our next music director only our third in our 133-year history. 
We are excited about being able to continue to enjoy the great energy that you have brought to all your work at the Met to date. We look forward to meeting you personally at our boardroom in the autumn and also to continue working with you and Peter to ensure a brilliant future for Grand Opera at our incomparable Met. Yes, Unique. Um, personally and professionally, we all couldn't be more thrilled to have you on board. Thank you. Thank you very much. On behalf of the orchestra. Maestro, good morning from New York City. <clears throat> As the chair of the Met Orchestra Committee, I am so honored to be here today to welcome you to the Metropolitan Opera family. From the moment of your debut in 2009 for Carmen, you have demonstrated to us your authentic spirit and your boundless energy. You have such a wonderful way of drawing out the very best in musicians, choristers, um, everyone behind the scenes from stage directors to stage hands. Not only are you a natural born leader on the podium, but also you possess an artistic vision for the drama on stage. You understand that opera is a unique art form. It requires digging deep into human emotion through music, voice, and action. And you understand precisely that this is what makes opera alive, relevant, and enduring. So we are so delighted in your appointment to music director. It truly is the product of our fruitful relationship that we have developed over these past few years. And now we look forward to a new era of artistic exploration and continued musical excellence with you at the helm. Thank you, Jessica. David. Dear Maestro, congratulations and welcome to the Met family. On behalf of the orchestra, I would like to express how thrilled we are that you will be joining us as music director of our illustrious company. As you know, we're at an important juncture in classical music. There's a trend toward replacing honored traditions while failing to present any meaningful innovation. So today it's more critical than ever to offer our audiences something new while preserving the artistic priorities at the heart of our great art form. You are the ideal person for this job, a dynamic, exciting musician who brings a breath of fresh air and great hope for the future. No one can replace the incomparable James Levine, but we are confident that you are the right person to build on the musical excellence that he established in this company over four decades. So once again, as concertmaster of the orchestra, let me welcome you with open arms and repeat how much we are looking forward to our partnership together in the opera house, on the symphonic stage, and hopefully in concert halls all around the world. Thank you so much, David. You know, you know, Unique, um, uh, we are so excited about, about your appointment. And uh, I know you're very conscious of and aware of the giant footsteps that you are following in, 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 in following uh, our great maestro, James Levine, who led this orchestra for 40 years as music director. But I think it's everyone's hope uh, and I can say this, I think, on behalf of the entire company, that your honeymoon period with us will last also at least another 40 years. <laughs> so we're looking forward to, to so many wonderful things working with you, and uh, I personally am looking forward to working with you so closely. Um, so it's a, it's a great day for the Met, and I think a great day for opera and classical music and for everyone whose lives around the world are enriched by, by great art. I don't know if you have anything else to say, but I, uh, perhaps uh, I know I know it's late in, in Osaka, but uh, please, well, if you have some final thoughts. Well, thank you so much, Peter and everyone. It's um, your words are, of course, uh, very touching to me and also very meaningful about um, the crossroads and where we should be as leaders and where we are. And I intended to do all my best to keep being at the forefront of our art form at the Met. Um, it's true that I have many, many ideas and that at this moment uh, we are announcing that our destinies will be together and I'm looking forward to be uh, the ear 
the listening quality, so to serve, but also to lead and to be an idea giver uh, to the company in the next months uh, and years in order to have uh, uh, new ideas and personalities about what we're going to do. And this is why we, you hinted at this, Peter, but we will have, um, we will be in the fall able to be all together, uh, not me in Osaka, but all in New York, and uh, we'll be surrounded by you, by people from the board, by the chorus and by the orchestra in order to lay out a little bit more detail our artistic plans. And uh, this, um, I can't wait to begin, honestly. This is, uh, is going to be great and I'm uh, I'm just so thankful and grateful uh, that uh, I get the confidence of everyone here and I want to say also finally that um, I have been in touch of course uh, with our great James Levine and I always felt his support and I thanked him personally also that he will still be with us as music director emeritus and that makes uh, I think very good partnership for the years to come so thank you very much. Thanks so much, Unique. I guess we uh, should let you uh, get some rest and good luck with the rest of your tour uh, across Asia. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks so much. Thank you, Peter. Have a great summer.